When we talk about learning football, probably the most important thing to learn is defensive scheme to understand the full picture of what's going on on any given play. And in order to learn defensive scheme, And the first thing we need to do to learn defense is to understand basic defensive structure. How many players are rushing the quarterback on a pass? How many are in coverage? And with that being said, before we dive deep into any specific coverage tools, we need to understand the basic structure of safeties and basic coverages. So what we're looking at is basic defensive structure against a simple two by two formation. If you want to see what each position is and why they're labeled like this, you can check out this video. But for now, we're really focused on the safeties. So on any given play, there are two types of categories of coverage. The first one involves a safety rotation after the snap. When a safety rotates down and the other one rotates back after the snap, this is called one high. You'll also hear this as post safety or middle of the field close. Those three terms all mean the same exact thing. People just have different terms for it. It's one high because there's one safety that's high. It's post safety because he's playing in the post, the middle of the field. And then it's middle of the field close because he is closing the middle of the field. He's playing in the middle of the field as a deep safety. Okay, and then you have the other category, which you guessed it, is called too high. Okay, it's one high or too high, and then you have post safety or split safety because you are essentially splitting the field in half, one safety to one side, one to the other, and then instead of middle of the field closed, it's called middle of the field open. So again, this is its own category. They all mean the same thing. Too high, split safety, middle of the field open. And this is the opposite of your one high post safety, middle of the field closed. Let's focus on one high right now. We're saying there's a safety rotation after the snap. Sometimes it's before the snap. Good defenses disguise it and don't show it until after. When this happens, there's two different types of coverages. The first is called cover one. Okay, cover one is when the post safety is playing the post and everybody else is playing man defense. There are multiple different ways to play cover one. We will get into a little bit of it later in this video, but you can dive deep into cover one in this other video. So you have cover one. The other type of coverage in post safety or middle of field close or one high defense is called cover three. This is when you have three deep defenders and then you will have four underneath defenders, assuming we are rushing just four to the quarterback, which we'll get into in a little bit. And even within cover three, there are two different ways to play it. There's a true country cover three version, which you can dive deep into in this video. And then there's a match cover three version, which you can dive deep into in this video. But for now, just think of cover three as three deep zones. And then in the two high world, the middle field open world, you have two primary different types of coverages. But the first thing to understand is that after the snap, the defense is splitting the field in half, hence why it's called split safety. Okay, the first coverage is called cover two. This is when there are essentially two deep zones. Again, it doesn't always necessarily play out exactly like this, but cover two, think of it as two deep zones. You can look at the specifics of the cover two tools in this video, but for now, think of cover two as two deep zones. Then there's cover four, often referred to as quarters. This is when you have four deep zones. Again, it doesn't really play out like this. You can look at the details in this video, but for now, think of it as four deep zones, which would mean three underneath defenders if we're rushing four to the quarterback. And then the fun stuff, cover six. Cover six is when we are playing 
cover four to one side of the field and cover two to the other side of the field. Which is which? Glad you asked. Cover six is when you're playing quarters to the passing strength, which is where the nickel defender is or the slot receiver is in 11 personnel. You can check out personnel in this video. But again, cover six is quarters to the passing strength and then half, cover two, to the passing weakness. So this is quarters to the right and cover two to the left. Cover four, four plus two is six, hence why it's called cover six. And then you have cover eight, which is the opposite of cover six. It's cover six flipped. Why is it called cover eight? Well, I guess because two times four equals eight. So four plus two equals six, two times four equals eight. Cover eight is now quarters to the passing weakness and then half or cover two to the passing strength. So again, cover six and cover eight are the same exact thing, just flipped. And then if you wanna get really aggressive on defense, you play cover zero. Cover zero is when you have zero deep safeties. So you are blitzing two defenders plus your four defensive linemen, and then you could either play man or zone behind it, but specifically in cover zero, you are playing man. And now we're talking about how many defenders are rushing the quarterback against a pass. The first type of play call is a three-man pressure. So even if a defense has four down linemen, one of them is going to drop in coverage and there is no additional linebacker or defensive back who blitzes. So you have eight defenders in coverage. This is why this is often referenced as drop eight. The defense is dropping eight in coverage. They have three rushing the passer. It's not very common, but it is used in certain situations, certain late game situations, or third in a mile. Okay, and then the most basic, most common category of a pressure is simply a four-man pressure. Nobody is blitzing. The only four players rushing the quarterback on a pass are the four down defensive linemen, and all other seven defenders are dropping in coverage. And then when a fifth player, a linebacker or a defensive back, blitzes, that is called a pressure, a blitz. So you have your four down linemen plus a linebacker or a defensive back rushing the quarterback on a pass, so a total of five rushing, and then you have six defenders in coverage. You will often hear this referenced as a pressure. So when you hear pressure, it's really a five-man pressure. When you have pressure with man coverage behind it in a free post safety, that is simply called a man blitz. You'll also hear this as dog, a dog coverage. This is a man blitz. You have five defenders covering all five skill players who are eligible to go out for a pass, minus the quarterback, and then you have your free safety. Again, this is a man blitz. Six in coverage, five rushing, man to man. And then when you have a five-man pressure, a pressure with zone behind it, this is called a fire zone. So you have five going. That's why it's called a pressure. Someone is blitzing. And then you have six in coverage behind it. This is called a fire zone. What you're looking at right now is technically a cover three fire zone because you have three deep, three under, five blitzing. This is a cover three fire zone, but you could also run a cover two fire zone, which is two deep, four under, or you could run a cover four fire zone, which is four deep, two under. But again, what you're looking at right now is a cover three fire zone. Now you have a regular call, four man pressure, seven in coverage with zone behind it. This is simply called a coverage, a regular coverage, cover two, cover four, cover six, cover eight, cover three, regular zone, Nothing fancy, no one blitzing. This is just a traditional, regular call. Four rushing the passer, seven in coverage, playing zone. And then when there's a four-man pressure with man defense behind it, you have a post safety. This is called man free because the other safety, or it sometimes is a linebacker, is playing the low hole. So you have a post safety who's not letting anything get behind him and then you have a low hole player 
That low hole player is the free defender in this coverage, hence man free. So when the low hole player is a safety, he is called a robber. Okay, so this coverage that you're looking at right now is cover one robber. You will also hear this as lurk or cross or hole. A lot of these terms are intertwined and used in certain buildings as opposed to others, but they're all pretty common. We're going to call it cover one robber. Now, when a linebacker plays the low hole, he is called a rat, oftentimes also called a lurker. Okay, so a safety playing the low hole is a robber. A linebacker playing the low hole is a rat. And then sometimes you'll blitz a defender and drop a defensive end to play the low hole. He is then called a thief. So you have a safety playing the low hole, he's a robber. The linebacker playing the low hole, he's a rat. The defensive end playing the low hole, he is a thief. And that leads us to a simulated pressure category. A simulated pressure is when you are still sending four, but one of them is a linebacker or a defensive back. It is called a simulated pressure because a pressure... By itself, a pressure is a five-man pressure. A simulated pressure is when we are simulating a five-man pressure, but really we're only still sending four defenders against the quarterback on a pass. So a player from the second or third level, like the nickel in this example, he's blitzing, so it feels like to the quarterback a five-man pressure is coming. But instead of all four defensive linemen also rushing with that blitzer, only three of them are doing so, and one of the defensive linemen is dropping in coverage. So at first, it feels like a pressure to the offense. Oh no, a fifth is coming. But no, it's only four. This is used to confuse the offense while still being in a pretty safe coverage. You're making the quarterback think that you're blitzing, when in reality, you still have seven defenders in coverage. Now just one of them is a defensive end. There's also another way to run this. You could blitz two defenders, from the second or third level. So like in this picture, the dime and the mic are blitzing. So to the quarterback, he's thinking, oh shoot, this is cover zero. I got six defenders running at me. When no, two defensive ends are dropping in this example. That's a pretty dirty way of doing it, but it is a possibility. And then that takes us to our six-man pressures. The six-man pressure is exactly what it sounds like. Your four defensive linemen are rushing, plus two other defenders blitzing for a total of six defenders rushing the quarterback on a pass. This means that we have five players in coverage behind the six rushing the quarterback. And remember, outside of the quarterback, there are five other skill players. In this picture, it's the tight end, the running back, and the three receivers for a total of five. And there are five defenders in coverage. So if you're playing man-to-man, -man, that means there is no extra defender to play the post. So this is no post safety. This is straight cover zero man-to-man -man with no help. But there is another way to run a six-man pressure. If you are not playing man behind the six-man pressure and you're playing zone, this is called a hot zone. So we said a five-man pressure with zone behind it is called a fire zone. Now a six-man pressure with zone behind it is called a hot zone. That takes us to this chart that summarizes all of the types of play calls when you look at the amount of defenders rushing the passer mixed in with what coverage is being played behind it. So a three-man pressure with man defense, man-to-man -man defense behind it is called man-free plus a spy. Or you could have two low-hole players. Okay, three-man pressure with zone behind it is simply called drop eight. It could be cover two, cover three, cover four, whatever it is, it's simply called drop eight and then the specific coverage would be tagged. Four-man pressure with man behind it is a man-free defense. That's when you have your robber or your rat, sometimes called a cross or a lurker or a hole. Okay, then you have a four-man pressure with zone behind it. That's just your regular coverage. Regular, cover two, four, six, eight, cover three. Okay, then you have your simulated pressure. Four defenders are rushing the passer, but one of them is a DB or a linebacker, which means another guy is dropping from the defensive line. When you're playing man on a simulated pressure, that is called a thief. Remember that defensive end is the low hole player. That is when he is a thief. 
when you're playing a simulated pressure with zone behind it, it's called a sim, a simulated pressure. So this would be like a cover two sim or a cover three sim or a cover four sim. Whatever the coverage is, you're just adding sim to it. When you hear that, that means a blitzer is going, a defensive end's dropping, you're still playing regular cover three behind it. It's just who is playing what changes a little bit. Then you have a five-man pressure with man. That is a man blitz, often referred to as a dog. And then a five-man pressure with zone behind it is called a fire zone. And then that means a six-man pressure with zone behind it is a hot zone. And then a six-man pressure with man behind it is cover zero. Again, each of these has their own video, which you can check below. But the first thing before you dive deep into any of this is to understand this chart, understand how defense is organized, how the calls are called, and what all of these terms mean.